Hello everyone, I'm back again with another case video for the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. It also fits the S8 Ultra. So Spigen, this is a Spigen Rugged, Rugged Armor Pro. Spigen, something you want. So let's see if there's something we want here. Now, um, this is an example of, you know, a case company doing what Samsung couldn't do, which was make the S8 Ultra keyboard and back cover compatible with the S9 Ultra keyboard and compatible if you watched my last video. So there was really no excuse to do that, um, to not be able to do that on Samsung's part. By the way, this is how Best Buy, uh, excuse me, uh, how Amazon sent this to me, <laughs> literally like this, and it literally came in this package. It did not come with any kind of um, packaging at all. They literally sent it to me like this. So it came super beat up. Um, shout out to Amazon for... <laughs> doing what they always do. I don't know if it's a used one or a new one or what, so we'll find out together. Okay, so it looks like some of the stickers are still intact. Yeah, this is a mess here. Okay, so again, this is a Spigen uh, Rugged Armor Pro for the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. It also fits the S8 Ultra. So there's some extra packaging in here. Go ahead and take that apart. What I do like about it for a uh, rugged case, uh, it seems actually relatively light. Um, so this is it right here. So it's kind of like that um, TPU material. Okay, so this case, um, if you saw my Jet Tech video, the Jet Tech, uh, the Jet Tech case that was uh, literally $16, um, this is not that far off from this. Uh, the difference is though, that it has a Spigen name on it and it costs, let's see here, and this is a different photos of it right here. Rugged Armor Pro, it's pretty much the same case, but instead of $16, this one costs $43.99. So um, yeah, this is a, another example of, um, you know, you're being able to really get an off-brand or not really a, a big name brand uh, case and pretty much get the same quality. Uh, of case. So this is very much like the Jet Tech case. So if you saw that video, let's see if there, if it does any better with the screen protector. I have a feeling it's also going to push up the screen protector. So if you have a screen protector that you, you use on this case, uh, just keep in mind that this case will likely push it up. So let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and yeah, you really got to get it on there. Just kind of take it apart there. Hopefully it won't, but we'll see. So yeah, this is a, the Rugged Armor Pro. Yeah, I can see it's already doing that. So the good thing about it is it's pretty thin. Um, the bad thing about it is it's a rubber case that's severely overpriced, and it's also um, going to go ahead and push up the screen protector a little bit. You, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera. You can see it at that angle there. So it's pushing up the screen protector already. Um, yeah, so this is a, yeah, for $43 for basically you get a couple pieces of rubber put together, and, uh, and it'll push up your screen protector. Uh, it does have a felt inside uh, as well. You know, th I keep seeing um, this uh, symbol on a lot of cases. And uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and start looking for it because I see it on expensive um, cases and I see it on uh, cheapy ones. And it's like a faux, it's a, I guess it's a brand of the faux leather. And you can see it's already, if you look right here, it's really blowing up that screen protector. So if you have a screen protector, um, and you you know you like using screen protectors on your your uh, device, this is probably not the case for you. The uh, the pen fits right in. So I had the pen that's still in the back there, and it just went right through. And here are the camera cutout. So you know they this fits the S9 Ultra and the S8 Ultra, and they were able to do what Sa uh, Samsung wasn't able to do. Um, it's got a little extra padding here. It's got like the kind of ruggedish kind of look to it. It's pretty much like the uh, $15 phone cases they make. This is just a big, huge tablet version of it, basically. But uh, it's it's very overpriced for $43. Um, let's go ahead and check out the trifold. So it's a trifold case. It, you know, it stands pretty well. I would even argue that the Jet Tech is probably even less flimsy. This one seems a little topper, top heavy. So if you kind of push it a little bit, yeah. So. Um, yeah, this is a, again, Spigen Rugged Armor Pro. Not really gonna um, recommend this case for $43. If you get it for somewhere in the $19 to $29 range, then maybe we can have a conversation about it. But for $43, um, this is not that much different than the Jet Tech case 
that I uh, I reviewed for uh, for sixteen ninety nine or whatever it was. You can go back and look at my videos and and see that. And then here's the other thing: like a lot, uh, oftentimes, like I always oh, you can always tell how a case, um, you know, how good of a quality is if it if it the cover moves kind of like this, like it's in your bag and it's moving around. And this is really flimsy; like it'll just move around at will. And then that, that leaves is that leaves your screen exposed. Um, boy, I can't talk today. It leaves your screen exposed, and um, yeah, it, then if you're not going to use the screen protector, it leaves your screen exposed. It could be in a bag, get little scratches there. If you do use the screen protector, it bows it up. So this is not recommended um, for anyone. I wouldn't necessarily go with this one, especially if you can get the same quality case for $16.99 with the Jet Tech brand. All right, and I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not trying to I, I'm not a big enough YouTuber to get any kind of sponsors, so this is no biased opinion whatsoever. Uh, I'm just giving it to you real. Because uh, I, like I put in my little bio there, I just feel like a lot of these um, reviewers now are just kind of more like commercials. They're not really giving you like an honest opinion. I mean, they're giving, they, they might be giving you as honest of opinion as they can, but they're kind of trying to be nice about it. So anyway, let me see my screen. There it goes. Okay, I'm trying to get my screen back on there. Okay, well, that's all for now. I just wanted to share this with you. I just picked this up today. I thought maybe this might be the, the one, but we're going to keep looking. Take care. I hope you're well. Hope your family's well. See you next time. Bye.